Hey everybody, it's A7X fan Ben here with another suggested video. On the YouTube video in the comments, both Naderbon and Vetra Brayton were wondering about fleet setups. So here, how about starting with fleet setups and then down here as well. And what about, for example, setups that strictly stick to one set and then maybe mixed up sets as well, multiple sets. So here I am at Miniature Trading. I'm going to take you through a quick little fleet tutorial. I do have one on this channel already, um, but I plan to do more, and that's one of the most requested things I've seen so far. So up in main menu, uh, click on that to get to community, and then you can go to armies, which in this case will be the pirates fleets. You can also do this by going to main menu, and then go up to trades actually in the green, even if you don't have an account, you can search for a miniature. And then here you go. And then you go to Pirate CSG, which is towards the bottom of the page. And then this brings up this URL here, game number 34. And then you can search by specific sets here and by any criteria you want from the menu. And you can specify sets up there too. So I could find, you know, uh, 13 point remaster from frozen north if there are any anyway there probably are and then yeah there's some results so if you're looking for something specific you could go that way but i'm going to go and just submit an, an army or a fleet in this case just because uh that's what i'm going to do here with this tutorial so there's 1456 total fleets for pirate csg so this will be number 1457 and then here at the top it says build your own fleet so you do need an account at Miniature Training to do this, but it's not a big deal. Sign up for free. There's not even that many great benefits of going premium, actually. Um, there's some good ones, but almost everything you, you need or want is for free, so that's nice. And then here, I like to type in um, like a fleet name, and then sometimes a description. What I'm doing right now is I'm just going to hit Update, and then... It'll allow me to do a quick add, which is something I like to do sometimes. Then you have, you can search for miniatures and you can do a quick add. If, if I wanted the Accorzado in my fleet, I can just type it in and then you can select it and then add it to a section and hit add. And then put in the miniature search engine. I'm gonna hit add miniatures to section ship number one, hit add miniatures. And then it'll take me to the search page, which is what I'm gonna use to find ships for my fleet. So I want to sort by Spanish main. I'm just going to do the first set for this video. So let's say we're building a fleet that's 40 points from Spanish main. So standard build total, first set only, only game pieces from Spanish main. And the English are my favorite faction, so I'm not going to do them actually. And I've made a lot of, I feel like I've made a lot of pirate fleets over the past um, one to two years, and now I'm the Pirates in uh, Vassal Campaign Game 4, so I'm going to go with the Spanish, actually. Um, they're a faction I like sometimes, but I'm going to go Faction Spain from Spanish Main. Uh, I just like the unlimited version better. Um, this probably has, I think there's a few promos from the original set, but I'm not going to worry about those right now. So search for miniatures, and then it brings me everything that the Spanish have from Spanish main. I also like the unlimited numbering system better. I don't like the SS014 for Spanish ship number 14. I like the regular numbering in the, just in the regular sequence. So, and then you can hit extended format, which is something I like to do. So then you can see all the ships here all at once. And for example, let's say the first ship I want Let's say I want like maybe a hybrid ship. So I see some nice ships here. It's a 40 point game, so I'm not gonna go with the Corazado S speed. Um, really expensive, better in death matches or larger games. Similar with similarly with El Garante. I'm gonna skip over those. The the one masters aren't super inspiring and they're both pretty fragile, and the repulsa is obscenely expensive. The Hoya del Sol gets used all the time, so I'm kinda Eh, I don't want to be like everybody else. Let's make a different kind of fleet here. Um, I do love the Cazador del Pirata. Uh, she's one of my favorite Spanish ships, but therefore I've used her a bunch. So let's, let's change it up. That's one of my favorite things to do here. So I'd like other people to do that too, but I realize uh, 
not everybody's going to change it up all the time like I do, especially if you have a limited physical collection, then you mostly just play physical games, not on Vassal, and uh, you kind of almost have to use similar ships, if not the same ones. So, the Eagle, uh, Spanish ship, five cargo, good cannons, uh, good price point here. The ability is probably going to be irrelevant. Uh, it's very situational, boarding pirates, but or not boarding, but at least touching pirate ships. So the eagle. So now I go to the bottom. I just hit end, and then actually I'm going to find some crew too. So let's say I want this to be a hybrid ship, like I said. So I'm going to go down to the Spanish crew here. They're numbered in order because I sorted by the number, and I see SAT, same action twice ability. That's a good one. So I think I'll give. Castro a lift here with the eagle and then and then at this point I know I want to have a captain and helmsman to make it a hybrid ship so in that case uh, those three crew captain helmsman and then Castro those are going to take up three spaces so I'll only have two spaces left on the eagle which is the minimum amount I would want available for like an actual hybrid ship ideally I might have more cargo and I could add Master Bianco, but I don't really want to spend three points um, on him in a 40-point game in this kind of setup. So, um, Unless I add him later, so we'll see what happens. But Then I'm going to hit Add Miniatures and Finish. If you hit Add Miniatures and Repeat, it will take you back to the screen. Then you can add other miniatures. Um, that's best if you're using like search terms or search criteria. But in this case, I'm just going Spanish Main, uh, Spanish Only. So here we go. So now I'm back to my fleet page. Got the Eagle with SAT Captain Helmsman. So I've got a solid setup there. Shows how many points you've spent. So I'm halfway to my build total. And the, the plus five crew were not introduced until Crimson Coast and beyond. So this won't be like a 45 point fleet. It'll be, it'll be exactly 40. And then, so now I'm gonna get another ship here. So add miniatures again for ship number two. And then, here I'll just quickly sort again um, by Spanish stuff from Spanish main. And then it'll give me the list again. And you can also change sections within the fleets at miniature training. So you could theoretically um, you could theoretically have something in one section and then move it to another one. So it's only tough with like duplicate crew because you can't necessarily split them off um, by changing the section because it'll move all of them at once even if you only have two or three. And then I've got 20 points left so I'm in my head I'm kind of hoping for th a three ship fleet here I could use because I know from my experience I know that um, El Picador is down here somewhere. And this is only a five-point ship, so I'm thinking that could be a backup final ship. I'm not sure if I'm going to use 15 points on this next ship, but let's see what happens here. And this isn't necessarily an optimal fleet. I'm just doing this as a demo, and I should have said this at the beginning, but I'm, this is totally off the cuff, so to speak. So this is just really random. Um, I did not uh, plan this fleet out. I'm just going on my gut and uh, trying to use some ships I don't use as much. So let me figure out what I want to do here. I think I might actually do something a little different, which I like quite a lot. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and use El Corazon del Mar, the heart of the sea. It has a built-in oarsman, only eight points. That's what I like right now because I'm, I'm going to be pressed for points real soon. So I don't want to just have a two-ship fleet. A two-ship fleet in a 40-point game is totally fine, but in this case, I'm going to have three, because none of them are going to be like super ships with cancelers or no five-masted mega gun ships or anything like that. So in that case, I want to try to get three ships to fit in here. So the Corazon del Mar, um, her cannons are a little funky, but other than the middle one, they're pretty good. And eight points is is a nice bargain bargain basement price for a three-master. And then for crew. I think I'm actually going to set her up almost the same as the previous ship, not with Caster, of course, because the no duplicates rule. Um, so the Corazon del Mar, with the cannons and that speed, I really want to have a captain and helmsman, because if I don't have a captain, she's going to be a mediocre gold runner, and without a helmsman, she's not going to be fast enough. 
So I'm going to add another helmsman here and another captain. So that brings me to 13 total points spent on this ship. So, and then if I get the Picador, that would bring me to 18. So then I'd be at 38 out of 40. So then I'd only have two points left. So now it's getting down to the wire here. So if I have two points left, let's say I do want to use the Picador. And I'm actually going to add her and change the section later just to show you what I'm talking about there. So the Picador is definitely going to be in the fleet. So now I've got two points left. Castro's Loyalist, the plus one boarding crew. I'm not really too gung ho about that. Um, and then they've got a couple other two point crew Gonzalo Mora and uh, De Silva, which I could try out. But I think in this case, I might actually add Horsman to the Picador and to my other ship, the Eagle. So I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to decide on two oarsmen. I'm going to add the other one after. Adventures and finish. So this, eventually, with my current plan, this is going to get me to uh, to 40 total points in a few minutes here. So the Picador goes to ship number two. I'm going to move it to ship number three. And the core zone already has the oarsman ability built in. So I'm going to move these two. So in section, ship number three. Then you hit update. So now, after that change, the Picador with her oarsmen are now in ship number three, that section. And then, so now I've got 39 points and got one point left to spend. So I'm going to get an oarsman for the Eagle as well. So ship number one. And like I said, this isn't really an optimized fleet. I mean, you could use the Hoya del Sol, of course, and maybe Asesino de la Nave. But that's what everybody would do. Uh, um, I mean, not everybody, but... And Wolf actually has a fleet with both of those in a 30-point fleet, which is pretty cool. But... And the Cazador del Pirata was very tempting there for a moment uh, a few minutes ago. But I decided to, to change it up, as I like to do. So that's one thing I would recommend, as I did in a, another video. Um, try to change up your games. Don't use, all, don't use the same chips all the time. Use different sets, different criteria for games. Like maybe, maybe you could do a game like this. Maybe you could do 40 points Spanish main only and see how it goes. See if you like that format. But now I've got my fleet here, so I'm pretty much done. I've got Castro, Captain Helmsman Oarsman. So the Aguila Eagle has two cargo left over. SAT, uh, hybrid potential. This is definitely my flagship. So that that one's pretty pretty decked out there for a 40 point game at least. That's I wouldn't want to spend many more points on the crew setup. The Corazon del Mar is kind of a subpar hybrid, I guess, in this case. It's not really a hybrid, but she's got a cargo space open, so she'll try to get gold. And she's got she's got some firepower as well. I like that price point. So and Picador, another cheap ship. This one doesn't have any ability, but this is basically the main gold runner. But all three ships have cargo space open, so I'm I'm really going with a multi-purpose type fleet here. I'm not going with like one gunship that's really good and one good gold runner. Sometimes that's the better way to go, but I, I do like hybrids or at least trying to make ships into hybrids. And you could you could customize this a little bit. You could swap one of the oarsmen for an explorer, maybe on the Picador. Um, but I just don't like the rule where you can dump explorers on wild islands um, pretty much with no detriment. So, so I'm not really a fan of that. So that's, that's how I might build a, a Spanish fleet using only Spanish main pieces. So I think that's pretty much it. And I, I'd like to do more of these. Um, and I'm going to submit this as a fleet here at Miniature Trading once I fill out the description a little bit. And then to do that, you would just hit Publish. I usually hit Update. And then once you do that, you can see your fleet description preview if you have links and like the Insert Miniature function. So I usually hit update to proofread, and then I hit pub publish at the end. And then also, at the bottom is a nice little thing where it shows you what you need to build this fleet in real life based on your collection, your halves and miniature trading. Um, so it says I don't actually do have these pieces, but I think they're probably just from the, uh, the original release of Spanish Main. So they have two sets here in the database. So, so thanks for watching, and... Uh, Hopefully I'll be back soon with more fleet tutorials. So let me know 
in the comments if you if you want to see specific sets or specific formats. Uh, Captain Vendari actually posted in the Facebook group yesterday about different formats and stuff, um, like how Curse Steve is less overpowered than some of the early sets, so they might be good sets to pit against each other. So I could try stuff like that. Uh, let me know if you want to see specific factions or uh, if I could improve upon this format in any way.